What's up, connectors and connectettes? I come to you from the frozen tundra of Huntsville, Alabama. It is cold outside here today. I've got ice on the deck, a little bit left over. We don't normally have this in November. I'm trying not to make a wrong move and go to Bust Ass City, so I'm gonna try and keep it still as much as I can, but it's cold. But everybody, everybody had an exciting day yesterday, didn't we? We're talking about our colors. What'd you get? What'd you get? Well, my color's this. Well, everybody's got their date for homecoming picked out and you gotta dance with them. All right, so. No scale victories. They're exciting, aren't they? We don't know when the next one's coming, so we gotta celebrate it. We got to uh, tell the world what our no scale victories are. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you about three, because I have had three today. And one of them is this sassy new sweatshirt that I wear for work. And the reason why it is a no scale victory is because one year ago I was in a 3X, then got it down to a 2X. This is an XL, and it's actually a small XL. And it, uh, it actually fits. And I always think that my clothes are too tight because I'm too fat, no. It's because all my old clothes used to hang off of me because I was trying to hide my belly. And um, now these clothes fit. And it's like, oh, I don't feel comfortable in them. I look too fat. And that's not true. My, my, I got, I've got a big shoulder and chest and my breasticles look fantastic in them. And I'm, I'm, God, I'm, oh, baby, it's cold outside. I'm going in. I can't take that anymore. All right. No scale victory number two happens to be the new uniform shirts. Those are XLs. Those were once three Xs. And if I had tried to wear an XL two months ago, all you would have seen when I entered a room was nothing but nipples. And nobody needs that. So they actually fit. They look good on me. They make me feel good. You got to celebrate that no scale victory when it comes. No scale victory number three. I love Duluth Trading Company. I buy clothes from them. They're super expensive, but they definitely last. And I bought some um, new underwear a few months ago that were actually a little on the tight side. And once I got them home, I couldn't wear them. And stores are weird about taking back underwear after you've had your uh, groceries inside of them and uh, your cash surprises. prizes. And they don't want to take them back. And I did want to hold on to them because I wanted to get into them. But they were so small, it felt like I was wearing my Dukes of, Haz uh, Dukes of Hazard underoos from when I was like uh, four. So, try those on this morning. They fit. I pranced around in them. I felt fantastic. I felt sassy. And uh, I want to tell everybody about it. Hey, my sweatshirt fits. It didn't a month ago. Uniform shirt fits. No more nipples. Underwear fit. I don't feel like uh, I've suddenly become a woman instantly. Probably a little little too much, but it, you get where I'm going with it. It's not the point. I'm not trying to be straight up perv, but it's just the idea. No scale victories. Tell the world about it. You don't know when the next one's coming. Love yourself. You look fabulous. You've got to tell everybody that you feel fabulous. Um... Because you haven't always felt fabulous, and now you do. So tell the world, lean back, scream to the mountaintops, and tell everybody, I look glorious, love me, want me. All right, I love you, I want you. You're the best, I'm the worst, you're fantastic, I suck. Until we meet again, I bid you freaking adieu. Stay classy, connect.